Okay guys, so the spring is here and I just thought that this little tree trunk which I sketched today might need some new, fresh new leaves like uh, growing on it. So let me show you one cool trick how to add a lot of leaves, a lot of foliage um, with a little effort uh, and it's kind of reusable so it's kind of cool. So as you can see I've got just this one grease pencil object and it contains like the tree like all the artwork on the separate layer and on the second layer there is like some paperish texture mm, in the back. Uh, it's completely flat by the way so nothing complicated. Okay, basically I could just like create a brand new layer, call it leaves. And with using just my mm, black material, stroke material, just start adding like leaves and drawing them down, right? But maybe there is an easy, easier way like to deal with it. Okay, so there is, I think. Um, of course, it's all about your artistic choices, but maybe it could help. Like to create some brand new leaves, I need to go to the texture paint mode. I'll just close this texture and create a brand new one and this size is okay for me i'll just rename it and what i need to do is to change the alpha like way down to zero so if i'll create this texture i get just like empty transparent texture right so i need to change the mode from view to paint and probably I don't need the pen pressure for strength. And I will just create some leaves pattern, a little chaotic leaves pattern. Okay, fair enough. Uh, at this point, I would probably like to save this image because it doesn't work like that if you, if you save the blender file it won't save the image automatically so you need to think about that or i can just i don't know pack it so it starts to be a part of this particular blender file okay let's go and create uh, a new grease pencil material material which will use this pattern to draw so let's get back to layout and let's create a new material let's call it leaves yeah and right now i want to change the line type from i mean i will be using only the stroke not a fill uh, and i want to change the line type from line which is usually default to dots and i want to change the style from solid to texture and right now I want to pick the texture which I just created, so I will choose those leaves. Okay, so let's try to draw something. So as you can see, it already kind of works. Um, you can have some problems with uh, with radius. Like usually, like the the you need to play around with the. Uh, with the uh, radius curve uh, which is probably by default in case of the ink pen I'm using right now it's set like this so it creates you need to put a lot of pressure with your with your pen like to to create a uh, bigger um, uh, bigger ra radius so I kind of like want to have something opposite so I I would like to have like uh, to use just a little pressure to create quite big radius and right now like we've just you know like not using like the long strokes like this but just like just like you do with the I don't know paintbrush or something like that I can start applying this foliage to my to, to my tree trunk.
Okay, fair enough. Um, right now, I'd I, I would like to work a little bit on the color of the of the leaves. So basically, it's a grease pencil material. So if you want to change the color of the of the whole material, it's it's uh, really easy. Uh, I mean, right now it's using like the original color of the uh, of the texture, which is pitch black. So I need to like take the blend way up to one. So right now it's using this color, and I can change the color of the of the leaves for something I don't know, like greenish, if you if you want. Okay. Um, still, it looks kind of flat, and we can do one more thing to make it. A little bit more appealing if you want so basically what I'm talking about I'm talking about a vertex paint mode so since we are using like this grease pencil material which is basically just a bunch of dots uh, spread it all around and using this this texture I can kind of tweak it when it comes to to color so let's take our draw tool in vertex paint mode Mm, right now, I'm, I'm not sure if it's default or not, but I've got like this mode on which only um, uh, works with the fills. And since I've got just strokes in this, uh, when it comes to those leaves, I just want to mm, change it to strokes. And yeah, let's say there is like some light going, like on, the, like shining on this tree from from the from the right side. So maybe let's take some, I don't know, yellowish color and let's turn on the pressure um, on, the, on the strength and turn the strength way down. And right now I can start to put some, I don't know, like highlights. And of course, you could do like the opposite as well. Let's take some dark green color and start to like add some shades here and there. Okay, looks cool. So there is one more cheap trick which you can uh, use when it comes to this like dealing with this foliage. Since it's grease pencil, we can use some modifiers, right? So let's say it's a, like windy morning and all the foliage is moving a little bit, like with the wind or something. So to create this effect, I will just use like, I mean, I could animate it like in the sculpting mode or something like that, but I will, I really need to make it fast. So I will just use the noise modifier and right now, like, everything looks a little bit weird. Um, and the thing is that I would like to use, like, the noise modifier only for one layer, for the leaves, for the foliage. So, in the Influence tab, I can... Uh, I can um, pick my leaves layer. And right now, like, all the background is, like, kind of still but the leaves are kind of moving. But probably I should tweak it a little bit. So I will drag the position noise like way down and maybe crank up noise scale a little bit. Yeah, let's see how this works. Yeah, so here it is. Like we got some like moving leaves with a little effort and you can reuse the brush anytime you want. Just remember to save your texture file and yeah, have fun, bye.